Okay, a little project for today. I just ordered these. It's the... Let's see if that comes in nice and clear. Okay, it's the uh, Obo or Fobo Bike 2. It's a uh, TPMS for the um, Road Glide behind me, which is a tire pressure management system, I believe it's called. So anyway, I don't have... The upgrade where I can see what my tire pressures are and what this does is it allows you to set the uh, per uh, your manual the actual settings the minimum and maximum pressure for each tire it hooks up directly to your uh, valve and it uh, gives you an alert on your Apple watch on your uh, phone to let you know when you slip below the minimum or over or whatever it is so or if you want to check what it is you can easily check it goes right to your phone, pairs to your phone, it's pretty easy. So, I'm gonna open it up, put it on, let's see what it's all about. Here we go, let's open it up. See what's in the box. What's in the box? Plastic's off. All right, let's see. Quick start guide. And two little F cufflinks. <laughs> Comes out like that. Close in the box. That's it for that box. Got a little box, a box inside a box. Okay, inside the box, inside the box, we got. Empty box. Okay. You know what these are? I guess it's a keychain. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. And okay, two of these. Supposedly they lock too. Oh, there's more here. Two batteries. I don't know if it takes two or one, and one's a spare. I'll tell you one thing, they wrapped the hell out of this thing. Oh my god. It's longer than I wrap this than I will to install it. Okay. I thought it'd be pretty easy. I don't know what the hell all this shit's for. Okay, so valve at the end. I assume the battery's going there. I don't know. I have to read this. I'll be right back. Okay, first thing it's doing is telling me to go download the app. Fobo Bike 2. Let's get it. Okay, it's downloaded. Let's open it up. Yes, use the Bluetooth. Uh, yes, to connect. And yes for notifications. I'm gonna sign you can sign in with Google, Facebook, or your own email address. I'm just gonna do with my Google account. You gotta set it to always on, I guess, so I can let you know the notifications all the time. Now I want you to set the measurement units. Let's go with PSI, so I don't know what KPS or KPA is. Temperature unit will be Fahrenheit. So PSI and Fahrenheit. Set. Who's that a profile by pressing the plus button? Okay, you gotta pick motorbike, bicycle. Oof. Profile, bike ID. I'm going to pick my bike out of a picture. So now i got a bike ID, profile name, uh, Harley. Okay. Put the bike information in. Now it's asking me for the minimum and maximum pressure. So according to the manual, 
Roguelide, Roguelide, Roguelide. Roguelide front would be 36. Recommended would be 36. Oh, so it automatically, if you put the recommended in, it automatically adjust the minimum and I guess the max. So if I put 36 in, which is what the manual says, it goes for minimum of 33 and max of 45. So I'm going to hit save. Oh, that's pretty nice. The rear tire. The rear tire is 40. So let's set the, the rear tire. 40 automatically adjusts 37 to 50. Okay, so that's all set. I got to see, hopefully that, oh, click the save button. Okay, now it's telling me to install a sensor. Screw sensor on the rear tire position. Oh, okay, I'll be back. Okay, if you unscrew this, it removes the battery tabs in there. I guess you gotta, oops, don't lose the battery. Anybody see which way this one in? <laughs> All right, so you got to remove the, the paper, the plastic, whatever it is, and then put it back on. So it comes with two spare batteries. That's what those other two batteries were. Put it back on. Same thing on this one. Unscrew it. Remove the plastic and back on. Sorry, my hands are so dirty. I've been working on this stupid bike for days. All right, so that's all done. Okay, let's talk about the parts. This is a locking nut. You install this first with the bump side down. Then goes the sensor, which we talked about, and then this is apparently the wrench. Okay, so I cheated and looked online on how to do it. So, let's get going on this. Finally. I installed it on the back. That's what happens. Let's go on the front. It tells you to screw sensor on the front tire, touch sensor with your mobile phone, and press proceed. Installation complete. I don't know why it gives a warning like that. Okay, now it shows you it's my current pressure on both. I guess I need to add a little air. Yeah, okay, well, I'm glad I installed this because apparently I need some air. I'm at 29.6 in the, in the uh, front and 36.5 in the rear. And according to this, it's the front is supposed to be 36. Wow, and the rear is supposed to be 40. So I didn't even realize I was down. I had no idea, I didn't even notice the ride. So I'm gonna put some air in this tire. Glad I got this app. It says pressure too low. Let's see what else this does. The settings. All right, there's all kinds of settings. You can go through it yourself, but that's basically it in a nutshell. It saved me a little problem just now. I'll put some air in, see how it goes. If you like this, click subscribe. We've got more videos coming. Or the like button. Or don't. Uh, have a great day.